Hey guys, so for part five, I'm going to show you a bit about the app, how it works, and I'm also going to show you how to develop it using Swift. And for you lazy devs out there, we have the code fresh and ready for you available at GitHub. So without any other interruptions, I say let's get to it. So this is the testing area, and for what we have set up right now is an, a cool little app that we created in Xcode, which is connected via the Wi-Fi to the Intel Edison board, which is also connected to the breadboard. Now the app itself, as I mentioned earlier, is a light changing app. So I could change the blue. I could also add green and red and so on. And very simple, but very cool to make. And that's for the next part in Xcode. So we just finished downloading the files from GitHub. In the iOS app folder, you'll have the Xcode project I'm gonna to present to you now. Now we have all the project files. Main.storyboard is the file containing all the screens of our app. In this case, we have created a single page app, which you can see now. Now all we have to do is enter the Intel Edison's IAP address in the little text box, and you'll have a few options on how to change the light bulb. We have three sliders, one for each color, and a little preview zone that shows you the previous and changing color. In viewcontroller.swift, we'll have the code I just showed you in the storyboard. In the view did load function, we'll calculate the color that will display in the preview zone when we launch the app. And red up will calculate the value of the slider, which will apply to the, all the other remaining colors. We now will display it in the preview zone using the output color. You can now see here that we use its IP and we connect to port 8080. We add the message change red with the value that we want. This is the part that helps us send the message directly to the Intel Edison. Hope you enjoy this part and see you soon in part six.